I got married. Yep. Okay. And I'm, I'm laying, we're, we're laying in bed in our apartment and, and all of a sudden I am shaking. Now those you might remember holiday in beds that you put a quarter in and the <laughs> yeah. bed would shake. Yeah, yeah. I, we didn't need that quarter. I was shaking wow. the bed like this. And he'd go, what are you doing? I said, I don't know. He goes, stop. I can't stop. I am like, wow. And I mean, it was, it was, it was horrible. It's funny now, but yeah, it was yeah, sure. horrible then, <laughs> literally horrible. Right. And I'm like, what is going I He's like, what? Stop. And I'm like, and then he's not necessarily yelling at me because that wasn't his nature, but he was just like, you need to stop. I'm like, I can't. I wow. can't. Okay. Fear take, overtakes you to the point where it's beyond your control, but yes. you had to let it get to that point. Okay. Let me tell you. Okay. When I was younger, the only thing I knew about my natural father was him hitting my mother. Oh, wow. And I knew that when I got married, in, in my subconscious, in my soul, in my heart, whatever, Whoa. and it and that I w he was going to beat me. Wow. He never beat me, never raised a hand, never did anything like that. But the point is, I had a fear that he was going to do that because that's all I've ever, that was the only example I had ever really had of marriage. And now that was manifesting. It was manifesting. Your because physical it, body. It was literally shaking in fear. Wow. Like, when is he going to hurt me? Oh, my gosh. And, Look and at so, that. Oh, yeah. This went on for like days. And he says, you got to stop. I'm like, I know I need to stop. Okay. Wow. And, uh, but I, I literally could not. Oh. And, and I'm like 20 years old. At when the did time. you put together the pieces of the puzzle that that's what was happening? There was a lady that knew a little bit compared to what we know now about inner healing. Uh -huh. And God revealed it to her. Oh my gosh. When what opened the door to fear in my life. Right. Wow. And then that's what opened the door. Once we dealt with that, I never did that again, again. except freezing in the Ukraine or right. something, wow, wow. you know? So I want to release the Holy Spirit right now because, yes. you know, I always use the scripture and I love it. 1 Corinthians 2.10 says that the Holy Spirit examines and explores all things. He finds the things that are hidden from us and beyond our scrutiny and brings us the divine counsel of God. So I release that prophetic biblical decree on you right now so that you can have a revelation of the things that have been hidden from you and beyond your scrutiny so you can understand why you are reacting in fear to certain situations. It might be because you had a wrong mindset or something you were exposed to as a child made you believe a false reality. And you, you didn't even know that your, your subconscious mind grasped hold of that and was responding to that thing that was implanted in you. So I release that to you right now so you can begin to receive revelation from the Holy Spirit about why you react in fear in Jesus' name. Now, this is a really good scripture. This yeah, is 2, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 mm. in uh, King James. Okay. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of sound mind. Thank you, Jesus. If you have fear, it's not of God. Mm. God has no fear to give you. People don't understand that. They think, no, I'm not afraid. I'm just being wise and cautious. There's a difference. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. If they see it like this, <laughs> then there's a problem, right? I mean, we can feel the difference. Mm -hmm. People should be able to feel the difference right? between Absolutely. a spirit of fear and being wise. Right. 